Hey guys, everyone is complaining about the need to get more leads on your website, more data that you can market to people. And VizMe, which I'm going to show you in a second, is an amazing way to help you do that. So one of my biggest pain points is I do a lot of webinars. I do a lot of blog posts. I do a lot of stuff out there. And am I collecting data? Am I getting people to sign up to newsletters? Am I collecting data when I do a webinar and get people to sign up to it? Not always. And that is where VizMe is going to allow you to collect more data, which is going to turn into more leads. We've all had the guys on LinkedIn saying, can you do with another 30 leads a month? I can help you out. These are the types of changes that these guys are making. So let's dig into it a bit more. VizMe can make anything look beautiful. That is the slogan on the website. Now they have templates for charts, maps, videos, branded templates, infographics, and so much more. However, the most important thing I want to talk about today is the forms that are on the website. So let's have a look at the type of forms that you can get on VizMe. Now, these can be newsletter signups, lead magnets, contact forms, registration forms, sign up forms, and even feedback forms. That is going to allow your audience to engage with you, give you more data, and in turn, give you their email and stuff as well. So let's have a look at the back end of VizMe and how this works and why you should use it in your own website. You can go into create new, go to form and survey. You can see the different types of forms that you can make. Now, one thing I don't personally do is create registration forms for webinars or live streams that I do on YouTube. I do the live streams all the time. I just don't have an event registration page. And that is stupid on my part because collecting that data is going to give me a lot more information, potentially feedback from people or whatever it might be so I can better my marketing strategy. So... In this example, I'm just going to show you a newsletter form. So let's have a quick look at the animated 3D type forms that you can have on your website. Now, you can see here, I can even have the guy do the moonwalk with the form popping out. Um, so we just want to look a bit at the level of customization we can do. Now, we can click on content up here or style. You can edit both. Now, up here, it's got logo. I can go in here and add my own logo. I click on the little icon there, logo. I'm just going to put this one on for speed. Now, I've uploaded my little logo there. As you can see, the colouring's not quite right, so I would need to get my graphic designer to sort out the colouring of that. Um, I can go in and change that to connect with me or whatever I might want to say. I can go here and I can completely edit that text. And obviously the fields that are filled out is something else that we can manipulate. So we can add another field. So if I want to collect people's phone number and their address, I just tick those two boxes, add fields, and it will come up with that there. So you can go in and manipulate the fields that you want to collect from people on that contact form. So you've got connect with me, what's your phone number, what's your mailing address, and they will get a thank you for subscribing. All of this is something you can manipulate. You can also get short or long answers if you wanted to, to collect more details on a problem that someone was having or, or whatever it might be. You can have single choice answers, drop downs, appointments, ratings, date pickers, multiple choice questions, time and country. So you can get all of that put into your form. Now, that's something that you can do. You can make sure that these are ticked as a required field or not. Um, and if you want to just grab someone's full name rather than having the first name and last name, you can manipulate all of that on the right hand side. So you can see that you can do a lot of stuff on in terms of the information that you collect. 
Now, of course, comes down to the style um, of the form. So you can change the color, the background, um, the fonts, the size, uh, the button that's on there, the text that's on the button, the background, which is obviously this color here. If I wanted to change that to light blue, I could do it. If I wanted to change it red, I can also do that. You can also add in the little footer as well if you wanted to. You can do everything uh, in terms of the style and the content. Now, also, this little character is an important part of it. So it's an animated character and the guy is, of course, doing the moonwalk or he can be walking in with a briefcase. He can be Tarzan, which is quite interesting to catch the eye of people. So that's quite animated, um, as you can see with Tarzan there. Now, of course, you've got a waiting pose so he can lean against the form. He can do this. He can be sleepy. Um, or, indeed, he could be telling you to hurry up and give over your data. Now, the ending pose as well, after you subscribe, you can edit all of this kind of stuff as well. You can get them to throw up confetti, do the floss. Not that I'm very good at dancing, but uh, <laughs> now the character himself can also be customised. So, <laughs> I'm going to give it a go and see what my character can look like. So I'm going to make him a male because that's what I am. I think I'm a bit sleek. Nah, I'll have cool. I'll go for cool. Uh, the characteristics, skin color. I like to think I've got a bit of a tan. So I'll go for that. Head, you can pick. Then you can go into beards, glasses, hats, and whatever else you think you are. I'm just going to go for this. I know this guy's got more hair. But hey, we'll go with it. Head, beard. I don't really have a beard. So I am going to have no beard. Glasses, I don't. But I fancy a pair of sunglasses on my guy. And we'll just stick a hat on him for a bit of fun. You can even change the clothing on this guy. So if I wanted to have this nice blue shirt on there, we can do that. I could even have a dress on him, <laughs> um, which is very interesting. So you can change the apparel and everything else as well. And of course, go back, change it. So you can also change the, the bottoms. Um, so I wear shorts a lot. And shoes will stick on a pair of trainers. So you can completely customise that character. You can save that character. Now, I know he looks nothing like me. However, you can spend a bit of time and effort on that side of things. Now, from there, you can connect to MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, HubSpot, Google Sheets, Excel, ConvertKit, Klaviyo, and a whole bunch of other places where you can upload the information the customer provides you with into your, your mailing campaigns. You can connect up to 10 other applications. Then we go to publish and you can share it with your friends on social media. You can embed it onto your website, which is what I'm gonna do. Now, you've got the ability to do it as a pop-up between content or in the sidebar. I'm just gonna have a random pop-up just to show you how easy it is. Now, there's obviously different settings here after page loads or after X amount of seconds. There's some advanced settings as well. And there, there are some other things here that you can do after user interaction, after the viewer scrolls past X amount of percentage, or when a viewer attempts to leave the web page. Now, this is the embed code down here, which you can copy and paste. You would simply put that, depending on your website, uh, you know, it's gonna go into the um, kind of header of your website so theme settings so we'll go to theme settings and I can copy and paste the code into here as you can see I've done with Visme um, so I've got some Google site verification codes on there as well but you can just add it into the header of your website you can 
also use a plugin called Header and Footer Scripts, or you can manually just go in to the editor of your template and put it into the header of your website. Whatever works best for you, you've just simply got to use that embed code, and we will see Tarzan swinging in as I've done on the video. You can see my logo is there. Um, that's my old pop-up, but you can see this is a lot more interactive. The guy is leaning against it. Um, he is going to start to wave his hands to try and encourage me to fill it in. So it is animated, it is in 3D. You are going to ask people to give you their name, email, and whatever else that you want to take from those people. You can go back into the form builder to get that information. Click sign me up and it will have the thank you for subscribing. He's doing the floss dance. Job done. You've collected that information. So whether you want to put that at the start of a webinar to, to get people to sign up to, to collect data, whether you want to do a simple newsletter, lead magnet or whatever else it may be, I would highly recommend using something that's animated, in your face, and you're going to collect leads and more importantly, data that is going to help you market yourself better. Now, on top of that, we do have some statistics that we've been given. Now, obviously the, the 3D animated avatars have been tested and the, the guys at Visme done a case study on websites that have 1 million plus organic visitors and the results are mind-blowing. They had two times more form submissions or conversions. So for you, that's basically doubling the size of your mailing list. And anyone who understands email marketing will know that it's definitely not dead and your mailing list can really turn in to a lot of money. Secondly, there was a 67% reduction in form abandonment with these Visme forms, probably because of the simplicity and in your face, uh, the, the, the kind of interaction or the animation is going to help. Now, it reduced estimated cost per acquisitions up to 28% on the testing these guys done. And people will remember your site and will be more engaged with the entire site after they fill out the form. So that is some of the stats there as to why you may want to use Visme on your newsletter, lead magnets, event registrations, which I do not do. It really annoys me, uh, but I really need to get my finger out with that and much, much more. So hopefully, You've seen what it can do. I'm going to go away and customize mine so that it suits my website, suits my logo and much more and give Visme a bash in terms of collecting and doubling down on building up my emailing list. So I'm still going to have Tarzan swinging in. I'm probably going to change the colors on the form, but this was obviously just for me to show you guys how easy it is to put it on the website. So check it out, the link is below.